After 17 years underground, finally the day is here when Brood X is emerging. Billions of this type of cicadas are expected to make their return to the East Coast and the Midwest. I'm expecting just an amazing evolutionary event that's going to unfold right in front of us. It's, it's, um, it's a natural history wonder, really. Um, they'll mate, and then when the eggs are ready, she will oviposit them into the twigs of small branches. The eggs will hatch, and then they'll drop into the ground. That'll be about a month from now, and then it'll all be over for another 17 years. Many people might consider them to be frightening, but they do no harm. They are actually a source of food for many animals. Now we've learned that birds and squirrels love cicadas. I talked to someone who explains how human beings can take advantage of them. Like, for example, eating them. I think because it's a new dish, people want to try a new dish. They're like, oh, I got this new, and it's like, no, 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 no. Why don't we go with something that you are a master at making? Think about your favorite dish. Yes, you want to add aromatics. You want to add garlic and onions and spices because they'll really take on a lot of that flavor. Whatever the reason is you are interested in cicadas, there is some good news. Fortunately, I don't have to wait that long because there are different broods that come out in different geographic areas around the country. But for now, this year's brood X has only one goal, to live long enough to multiply.